Hey kids, sorry we're about the delay with the video today, but we finally got it online. Now we've got some big questions to answer, but first of all, what does a talking donkey have to do with the Bible? I don't know. It's a good question, but I think you're going to learn about it today with the story of Balaam. And then to Mr. Moses' museum. What's going on? What about Mr. Cheatham? Can we trust him? What about Sammy? What about Dewey and the rock band? Who's behind this Yo Mama Llama? Maybe we'll find out some more answers this week. Now, since we're a little late, we're going to skip the songs and head right into the show. See you next week. Oh, well, hey there, Mr. Moses. How are you? Oh, hey, kids. I'm glad you're here. I got to thinking that the next great idea for this museum is right here in these costumes. Here, take a look. That's okay. We looked at them last week. Oh, okay. You can suit yourself, okay? Me and Scoobs are just gonna keep looking here at some cool stuff. Yeah, tons of cool stuff. Mr. Moses, I was at the library last week and I found out some interesting stuff about this place. You mean like the fact that it's it built on an Indian burial ground? Yikes! Yikes! No, I want to talk to you about money you owe. Well, I know. It's, it's a lot of money. I know. I know. It's a lot of money. Yeah, Mr. Moses, but you've paid on time all, all the time. So why is it right now that Mr. Cheatham wants so much more money? I don't know. I mean, we used to be friends. Our, our kids even played together. What happened? Did y'all guys have a fight? No, no. Not, not until his kid moved to California. He, he's claimed he had to find himself. Excuse me, my Dewey has nothing to do with this, and he wouldn't have gone to California if it wasn't for your daughter. Now wait a minute, Mr. Cheatham, don't you say anything about my daughter! A, a ghost. ghost! Oh, come on, Scooby and Shaggy, will you two just calm down? Nuh-uh. No way, no how, no wonder. Maybe a Scooby snack will calm you down. Oh wait, I don't have any, I'll have to go get some out of the mystery machine. I'll go with you. You know what? And I'll go get some flashlights, just in case we need them out of the mystery machine. You two coming? We're gonna hide. Oh, I'll go check the wiring. It's bad in this old building. There's nothing wrong with the wiring. You probably didn't pay the bill. Hey, wait. You... Thank goodness the lights came back on. But that must take a little long with those streets. So why don't you just try to sniff out some food? I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I heard something. Is that? Where'd you find the apple? Oh, from the llama. From the, from the llama. Makes it. From the llama? Yo mama, so ugly. Everybody in the world started wearing masks so we wouldn't have to see her face. Fred, Fred, Fred. The llama is inside. Are you sure? I'm definitely sure. All right, well, come on, come on. I don't see anything. Look, look, come here. It was right here. See that? Right there. See where that leaf is? Yep. Right there. Yeah, and it talked. It talked about, about our moms, okay? And it was mean. An animal 
talking? That would never happen. I'm not so sure. You know what happened in the Bible. That's right. You're talking about the story of Balaam. Oh yeah, I remember that. Our super smart youth minister taught us that story. You see, I don't remember that story ever being taught. There was a man named Balaam, and he was going to speak out against Israel, but God told him not to do that and only say what God told him to. Yeah, he went with the people that told him to curse Israel, but God knew that in his heart that he would speak out against them. So God put something in his way. The real question is, what did he put? A rock? No, an angel with a sword to stop him. Balaam didn't see the angel, but his donkey sure did, and it went off the road and crushed Balaam's foot on a wall. Then finally, it sat down and wouldn't go anywhere, so Balaam started beating the donkey. So that's when the donkey talked and told Balaam again what God had said. To not say anything bad about God. Surely Balaam listened this time. He sure did. Mr. Cheatham, don't go snooping around my property. I told you I lost you back there. No, I turned around and you were gone. I, I don't trust you, Mr. Cheatham. What did you kids find out? I learned that llamas and donkeys can talk. Well, that's absurd. If you see any talking animals, let them know for me to get paid. Okay, good day, Mr. Cheatham. We'll see you later. That Mr. Cheatham sure doesn't like you. Yeah, she has a point, but does he not like you enough to come up with that llama story? Maybe he's trying to scare off your customer so that you'll go broke. Maybe. He sure does like money. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I was wondering where Sam Sam was today. I didn't see her on the front desk today. Sammy? She asked for the day off. You know, come to think of it, she, she sounded mad. Really? I, I probably need to go call her. Excuse me. Oh.